Hello and welcome back to the Irish United YouTube channel. We have just witnessed a very embarrassing defeat at Goodison Park against Everton. Um, I think it's going to be a tough review. We're all depressed. We're all probably got a lot to say, but in, in other ways, we're probably speechless. So we're um, joined by Luke, uh, sorry, Rich, all the way from Johannesburg, Luke and Stelios. So I'll start with yourself, Stelios. You're all, all the way over in the corner. Come on, go for it. Give me something. Give me anything, because we need something. <laughs> well, you're not going to get much positivity, I have to be honest. Um, that was abysmal. That's uh, We're back to square one after everything we, we, we maybe thought was going to start coming to fruition after the Leicester game. is as if that game never happened. Um, uh, we started off wrong. The formation was wrong. Uh, ironically, when, when, he, when he named the team, I said, oh, yeah, are you? That might work how fucking wrong I was hmm. you know that was the worst uh, team selection uh, Moyes could have made uh, we had two strikers on the bench he didn't dis he didn't put either of them on so the formation was wrong all right from the start yet again we're letting a team that is not doing that well we let them dictate we let them play um, and and you know half time we got with, by half time we got what we deserved to a 2 nil down we're chasing the game yet again Yet again, we're chasing the game. Uh, Absolutely, and I think do you know what? Still, like it's really tough. We're all we're all going to struggle. Rich, I mean, we came into this game and you make a valid point. Team selection, like, I mean, really? Did, what, what was your thoughts on the team selection? Like, did, did you did you feel some joy behind the team selection? Look, I think um, as much as Carroll's been poor this season, we really missed him tonight. Um, you look at. Baines, Baines out, Jagielka out. It's a makeshift back four for Everton, and I feel like Carroll could have had a real go at them tonight and caused a lot of havoc. Um, unfortunately, he's gone with IU. As as Sal mentioned, I also thought it, it, it could have worked, mm. um, but we really missed an out and out striker that could haggle that back four. Um, but at the moment, it just feels like absolutely everything that could possibly go wrong is going wrong. I mean, missed penalties, yeah. parts making <laughs> saves, rebounds are going in. It's just oh, it's just a mess. It's so difficult to watch, and it's it's again, it's so hard to take any positives from this performance because we've been battered by a side that have been absolutely abysmal this season in Everton, and they've given us four 0 which just shows how rubbish we are at the moment, which is sad. Look, you've been giving us some a bit of positivity this week, and it's been I must admit, it's, it's been it's been helping. It does help when you've got someone around that's wanting to be a bit positive. But tell me, how can you take some positives from that tonight, Look? We were positivity is more like I'm giving up being negative, and I might as well just try it <laughs> for, 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 for my own sake and my own uh, my own positivity. Get through it. Um, look, they're running round more, uh, uh, you know, than they were under Bilic because uh, that, that would have been six nil under Bilic. And I, you know, I love the guy, but he won't with it. But this is the thing I said, I said to my brother after I said it throughout the game. You can run around ahead of these chickens, or you can stand around. It doesn't do, doesn't make a difference. If you ever got the tactical noose, if you ever got ingenuity to play a good pass or whatever then you're going to lose so you can you can run around for 90 minutes you can, you can sweat you know we've had teams in the past at West Ham who have done nothing but run around and work their socks off and they're still lost they've still lost 4 or 5 nil. you know I'll give you stories of old days so um, positives half oh, that team might not play against Man City might see a few youth teams um, they, they, they've done more running around and a few of them Look more up for it. Yeah, no, you're sighing now. I know no, 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 I'm just, I'm no, just. No, 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 but that's, that is what it is. I, I'm finding positives. Mm -hmm. There was more running around. Um, Lanzini was trying, but again, he was basically useless because he, he couldn't get anything decent. Uh, we got a penalty and we missed it. Mm -hmm. First penalty we've been, first penalty we've been given in God knows how long. So um, there's no penalty, but there's no positives, but maybe there's positives for the next game if you've come in. Uh, but it's got to a point now where I'm just going, we're so terrible, I might as well just laugh at it for my own sake. Mm -hmm. No insanity. You know I, what think, I, mean? I think. I yeah, think. I mean, for me personally, I'm looking at this team selection, and I just don't feel joyed again because I'm looking at Ayu thinking he's just going to play up top. He's going to be isolated again, and whatever striker mm. comes in place. So unless I see two physical strikers' names on that park, I'm thinking to myself, we're just going to see the same week in, week out. There was a bit of fight last week against Leicester, and as you said, still before we came on, you thought there was a bit of passion in the second half, and we thought we were going to maybe get a victory out of mm. it. But what, what, not, none of that came today because we just went back to square one. Even if Carroll was playing on his own, I don't see it making any difference, to be honest. He may have caused the no. defence a bit of havoc. But there's no one in the middle to cause the connection between the two clubs. Yeah, Lanzini's supposed to do it, but he passes that ball and no one can do it. And, and do you know what? Lanzini's not coming out of this. 
um, unscathed because he's not performing, but no one is performing. No one is performing still. Have you got any other kind of pinpointing views you want to give on the game? Or um, well, I, it, well, it's it's what you've said. You know, no one's no one's. Um, uh, we're not we're not playing as a team yet again. You know that there's no movement off the ball. That, that we're we're standing off. We're we're allowing the other team to play. You know, uh, everyone was praising Arnautovic on Friday. Where was he tonight? You know, uh, he he did. I can't shine. agree with that. I can't agree with that. Do you, do you really? Why why was he taken off then? You know, it, I mean. I don't know. I don't know why he was taken off. But for me, if Masaku goes off and he doesn't go off, he stays on because he was one of the few, very very few players who was trying something. He didn't get anywhere with it. Like they all didn't get anywhere with it. But he was still putting himself about like he was against Leicester. And for me, uh, if you make if you take one person off, you take Masaku off. Who I still I'm a fan of. But I don't think Inovich deserves any any discredit tonight because he, he wasn't well, on the work. I'm not I'm not going to just pick you know just pick on, yeah, on one person. I did say it's, it's the whole team. It's the yeah, whole team. Yeah, but yeah. I, I guess where I'm the way I'm looking at it is Nanatovic is a 25 million pound player, but he's not playing like a like a player who's who's meant to be worth that money. You know, um, but it's not just him now. He Anatovic should have been a, a, a fairly decent compliment to Lanzini. We're talking about Lanzini not having anyone to play off. An art of it should be that. Why? Why are those two not gelling? Any uh, in the way in the way that they should be? They're playing close enough see, to see, each to other, honest, you know. See, see, on that still, I just honestly believe like I, I, I think um, Arnautovic did play well against Leicester, but to be honest, he's not a fit for our team. I just, I, I just don't see. He's it, for me, he was a panic buy. He was a twenty-five million pound. Let's prove the fans that we will sign this kind of player. Now he is a luxurious player that a squad mm. not like West Ham need. We don't need that player, and unfortunately, we've got him, so we need to try and utilise him. I, but I, I agree. I, I agree. We we need we need we need pace in the team, yeah. and the only the only player that that possibly has any pace is Masuaku. And and as Luke just uh, highlighted, Masuaku didn't really have a good game today. But I can't think. I mean, apart from Antonio, but Antonio has not been fit for most of this season. You know, we, we don't have we don't have any other pace. Uh, we 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 you know, so we play a four four two, or we play a three five two, or whatever it is we play, and we rely on pace. We are even though we picked up our fitness under Moyes, we, we're no we're no we're not really any faster. You know, we can't hit teams teams on the break. We don't have that pace within I've, our team, mm. so I agree he's not necessarily the right sort of player that we should have bought. I agree. I, I think we're I think we're playing too much football as well. I'm just going to say this. I think you know we, we, I've lost count the amount of times where rather than getting the ball upfield into the opposition's box, I know it's hoofball. I know that that Allardyce was criticised for it when when we were under him and whatever. But you were just tonight, and it's taking us about 30 seconds to a minute to get the ball out of defence because of Bonner That's and the, Reed can't can't go. Rather than go, let's just get out there. Let's just get out there and get in their faces. They go, no, so you have it, mate. No, you have it again. You have it back again. Someone from the midfield comes again. Oh, you, they'll turn back and play back to Hart. Hart's touched them all, all more times than Ayu did tonight. That's the that's the fundamental uh, wrong that's gone in our season from the start. Hart touches the ball more more times than any of our forwards do in any of our games because we haven't got the balls to go. Let's just go for it. Let's just knock it upfield. Let's just start out giving the defenders aggro. We don't. And that I, 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 I just don't think we've got. I just genuinely, genuinely no, believe we don't have the players that can like that's why like as much as I slag off Ogbonna as much as I slag him off he does get the ball and he does look for the pass he looks like he panics but there is no one and I wrote this in the messages tonight we are a static football team we just stand yeah. still there's no players mm -hmm. looking for the ball even Lanzini tonight wasn't looking for the ball and he's not been doing it for a while we when we move we move as a team but their players are always standing in natural fact to mark our players for an opposition is very easy it's very very easy and it's it's disheartening I don't know where it's going Rich what, what, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah I completely agree with uh, what Luke said uh, I get so annoyed with watching Ogbonna and Reed pass between each other 10-15 times and uh, unfortunately I think I hate pointing fingers but Obi Yang and Piate need to catch a wake up because the last couple of games they've gone missing there's no link between our defence and our midfield there's absolutely no link they pass laterally the whole time Obiang and Kyote need to make themselves available, open up the play, spread it wide, bring the likes of Anastovic into the game. But unfortunately, that hasn't been happening of late. Uh, and those two, who I would, I personally believe should be playing together, I think those are best centre midfielders. And I've been, I've been slagging off Mark Noble the whole season. Tonight, Obiang and Kyote were simply not good enough at all. 
And I mean, they were playing against Everton side short on confidence. And I mean, fast to again, fast to lose four 0 to them is just just not good enough, but, really. But the irony, Rich, that's what Obiang and Kiate were doing against Leicester. You know, they did do it on Friday. Yeah. You know, and this is the weird thing. That's why I, I had a little bit of faith tonight in thinking, right, we're going to pick up where we left off on Friday. Because the things that, you know, we, we've been saying, you know, they, they, they were doing it. You know, and the, yeah, even the defenders right. were, were playing it around faster on Friday. You know, and, they, and Luke, you're right. They were like pinging it back to each other after you, after you, after you. But on Friday, they didn't do that. They got it. They, they, they looked for the forward pass. You know, Obiang was picking it up. Kiate was there, etc. I don't, I don't understand what, what's, what's happened between Friday and now. But, you know, I mean, yeah. it's, it's as if it's just gone backwards again. Even exist. Yeah. But I tell, I, tell yeah. you, I, tell, I tell you something that's really frustrating. Right, we're into our second season in the new stadium, okay, and we're playing a very similar team, very similar core through the team. So it's either Obona Reeds or whatever, and then it's moving up to Obiang. The mixture between Obiang, Lanzini, Noble, and Kuati. And then we're playing with the one man up the top. It's not been working for now, what? How many games? 40, 50 odd games? It's not working, so why are we seeing the yeah. same team? So yeah. my point here is, and I couldn't give two shits what anyone else says, the youth are sitting, <laughs> the, uh, I'm not even oh, yeah. referencing you guys, but the youth are sitting on the bench, and, I, and I'm not asking for 11 players from the youth, but the youth are sitting on the bench. They're, some of the individual performances are playing well, and that's how football works. You perform well, you get given a chance. You don't just sit on a bench and do, and do nothing and watch all these shit players putting in no effort whatsoever and then not getting yeah. a chance because you're just going to get disheartened. The players like IU, well, not IU, but other players are going to look over their shoulder going, oh, well, no one's, no one's challenging me, so I don't have to fucking work hard. And I don't buy the fitness. I've not bought it since Bilic is gone, and I don't buy it. All we've noticed is players tracking down ever so slightly, tracking down because they're thinking, do you know what, the crowd are geeing me up and we need to press, we need to press. I have noticed a big change in the press. I personally haven't noticed a big difference in the fitness. I just think they are the same fitness, but they just can't yeah. they're fucking yes. gone. They're gone. Sorry. We hardly make a tackle. We hardly make a tackle. I, looked, I watched tonight, and um, I know you've got this thing now where nowadays you can't really make a tackle because you know you can't go through a player like you used to. But we just there's a there's a point I think in the first half where I watched Reed close down um, one of the Everton players from near enough their corner, and it was like you can make a tackle now, but he's standing off him, waiting to either beat him or make a pass, and it's like can not one of you just go wallop? It would take a yellow card. Or just let a player know he's there early. We just don't want to make a tackle. We just can't tackle. Our defenders don't want to make a tackle. They're too scared. The midfield don't want to put a foot in. I just I've lost count of the amount of times we just think just make a fucking tackle. Just put yeah, your our, foot our in. defenders should be doing our defenders should be doing that at the beginning of the game. That's where Bonner in the first fifteen minutes just got in a little bit late on the play. Let they him know he's us. there. Unfortunately, they us all day that long. happened in the second half. That happened in the, at the beginning of the second half. Where we had a spell of about 10, 15 minutes where we absolutely peppered them. That was, I think, a brilliant 10 to 15 minutes. We got the penalty. But again, yeah, it's just it's just so frustrating. I just, yeah. Still, I, still, speechless, we, really. still, we came up against yep. a player that we know very well, Wayne Rooney. He likes a goal against yeah. West Ham. He's not been scoring for Everton. And tonight, he decided to step in and uh, score a hat trick, of which one of the goals was a worldly of a goal. Well, I don't even know how many yards out it was. Tell me, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on teams that are stepping up against West Ham? Well, <laughs> well, I, I think I think that um, uh, most Premiership teams know that if they're going to look for a result, they're likely to get one off West Ham. Mm. No one's afraid. Of, no one's afraid of playing us against us. Uh, they'll go for it. Wayne Rooney was given a slightly different role tonight, and he fucking got a hat trick. You know, and uh, and 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 the worldie. Well, I don't like Hart, and I've been <laughs> saying it all season. <laughs> and Hart, has been, ha, I mean, I'm sorry, but no player should be able to score a goal like that from the position that he was in. You know, and I'm so glad that Hart can't play on Sunday because I really, 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 really hope Adrian has a don't say Adrian has a Just world now. class. Huh? Is Adrian got beat by the same kind of goal? From up from Rooney, so you're just saying no, keep no, no guys to score from there. <laughs> Hang on, yeah, I know, but I really fair. hope Adrian has a world. Well I tell you what, Stel, you make a you, you do make a point though, because I've been sticking up for Hart for so long, and I did read a stat beforehand. I mean, in his 14 games for West Ham, again, I don't believe a lot of them are at his fault, but something needs to change when you're not performing at your work. 
and you consistently are given a chance after chance. And this is not just yeah. the art. This is just the rest of the players. Because it's the rest what, of the players. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call out another player here. And it's Zabaleta. And again, I really don't know. Yeah. I'm not massively. He's getting caught out. He's struggled. He's, but he's it's struggled. Struggled. It's not, it's not he just, got the legs. It's not today. He's got the legs. It's not today. He's done it against Leicester. He's done it the, the previous three or four games before that. And I'm hearing people saying he's hammer of the year. Are you are you fucking batshit crazy? Like, what are you going on? He is running up the wing, getting caught out several times. He could do that for Man City because he was backed up for Man City. Absolutely. He is not backed up for West Ham, so you need to come I, back and play your position. I, I keep saying, if we, we should play three at the back and Zabaleta should be one of the three at the back so he doesn't have to keep running up the wing mm. you know and getting and getting caught out you know I really like I mean I know he, he's been slated in the past but I'd like to see Byron come back fit and maybe use him as a wing back or, or put Antonio back there as a wing back you know at least he's got you know when he's fit at least he's got the energy to do it but Zabaleta you know he's up there he hasn't he isn't <laughs> he hasn't got the legs yeah, you know we still have a, we still uh, have a right he's... back problem <laughs> Yeah, you know, back version of Noble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and and what you say, what you say, Anton. You know, we've got all these youngsters. Uh, do you know it's going to get to a point where we're going to be in so much shit if we're not already in it that it's going to be too risky to start playing the youngsters. You know, now's the time to start feeding one or two of them in. You know, when we're still, it's still, uh, it's still what a you third of the way through the season. Well. The, the longer it goes, uh, Luke, the longer it goes that we're not winning games, you know, the more desperate we're going to become and we're going to be looking for our for us, for us our um, experienced players to get us out of this shit. But Anton said it. They're not getting us out of this shit. You know, so it, we should start, you know, why have Martinez on the, on the subs bench tonight if he, if he wasn't going to have a chance? Start the guy. All, all right, we're not starting. Put him on. Put him on yeah. halfway through the game, you know? Give him a chance. There's Give him a, a run out. There's a lot of people out there talking about saying that the under 23s are are not performing that well. We don't care if the under 20, 23s are performing not that well. We never cared about the development score. We never cared about that. It's all about individuality players coming through the ranks to perform to be able to play for the first team. If you've got a player in form like Martinez, he needs a chance. If you've got a player in form like um, Declan Rice, he needs a chance. Queena, he needs a chance. Players like that need a chance. I'm not asking for the rest of the other team to come in, but right now, I don't want to see these players playing week in, week out when they've got no heart. They're conceding goals against relegation teams. We're conceding big amount of goals, not just against Manchester United, not against Arsenal, but we're conceding three goals against Newcastle, three goals against Brighton, four goals tonight against Everton, who are struggling, and Ashley Williams steps up and pings a belter of a header in the top corner. He's been Everton's worst player all year. Like, oh my God. Like, Sorry, Rich, it's like, how many saves? How, how many saves did Hearts have to make tonight? That's the sad thing. He, he didn't have to make any saves. We yeah. conceded four goals, and he actually hasn't made a, a proper save. That just shows. That's the real reason we are where we are. Because every time a shot goes on target, it's a goal. You know, that's that's the conversion rate that teams have against West Ham is absolutely ridiculous. And that's the simple reason why we are where we are. I think it was the second. Yeah. Was it the second goal when Rooney scored the second goal? If you look. At the replay, and you look at the amount of West Ham players in the box, we have rammed. We have rammed that box. Oh, not it. a single oh. player can get anywhere no. near the player or the ball. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Piante just lost his man completely. Didn't even track Rooney back. He just watched Rooney run past him. Said, "There you go, mate. There's the goal." Yeah. Not good enough. Rooney is well, Rooney. Fielder, That's inexcusable, really. <laughs> Of all players. 30, 31, 34, yeah. 33. Of all players. And Kyrgyz has done that. Nah. So he lost his pace about 10 years ago. Yeah. I, th- I think the biggest thing is we, we probably are going to struggle. I mean, what a shout out to the fans again. You could non stop yeah. all the way through Not the game. Play. Like, we, how can we? We can't fault them. We'll never fault them. We're, we're West Ham. We do this through thick and thin. Um, but we've got to try and move on to what's now going to be crazy we've got Manchester City at the Etihad the, the, the informed team who are banging goals left right and centre and and we're playing them on Sunday guys like after that we've got Arsenal Chelsea Bournemouth away Tottenham Stoke Stoke, Stoke away, Newcastle Newcastle like we are sitting on what single digits in, in the in second from bottom with all these games to play like it, it's not looking good it's really really not looking good we need, we need we need we need to start pulling out uh, rabbits out of a hat don't we yeah you know we need we need to start getting getting some surprise results yeah you know and what better way what better way of uh, uh, look i'm not stupid it ain't gonna happen but what better way of going and, and getting uh, a clean sheet against city on sunday 
Now, wouldn't that be a nice start to the running that we've got? Yeah. You know, if we get absolutely hammered on Sunday, which I think we're all expecting, then God knows what Dece- December's going to be. Uh, uh, it's going to be awful, isn't it? It's going to be you just want to hibernate and not want to see anything that goes on. You know? It's going to be a nice Christmas. <laughs> It's I mean, not we, we be are not, pleasant. we're not too good to go down. The, the honest truth is, if we play how we're playing, hello championship. It's it's the brutal truth. I mean, we are not too good to go down. Simple as that. The worst, I mean, the, we the worst, went down the worst thing is, points. Went. The worst forget. thing is, is that 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 this team right now, man for man, I'm talking about, right, is probably better than the team we had when we went down under Abraham Grant. Um, man for man, and, absolutely. Yeah, as but a team, sure, as a sure. team, we are worse. It's one of those things where you look at, and I said this in, I said this in the group chat, um, that something happened to this football club when we moved stadiums. It's probably, it, it could be one thing, it could be a number of thousand things. I'm not going to blame the stadium because I'm sorry, be professional footballers. If we can get beaten there 4 5 nil, we can win there 4 5 nil. So it's the same for both teams, but something's happened there. We haven't had the same team. We've talked since the last season of bowling, since Pike decided not to give a shit and whatever. Um, but that team is dis- it's disappointing because you've got a team in there who David Gold likes to repeat over and over again is full of internationals and that's another reason why apparently youth can't get in so um, you know it could be management but we've got a new manager now and we've got a new backroom staff and it's not been, you know, I, I, I think <laughs> I'm, I'm Ant- Ant- Anton's touched no. Anton's touch on it you know we're not giving other players a chance we're seeing the same team being rolled out week after week after week it's not been freshened up enough. You know, uh, you mentioned it, Luke. Arnautovic has come in, but he ain't the right sort of player for West Ham. You know, it's not fresh enough. You look at other teams, you know, a, a really good team, a really top team will, will freshen maybe two or three positions, you know, uh, uh, to make it even stronger. A team exactly. in the middle of the table, a team in the middle of the table will probably go for six, seven, eight players, you know, to try and freshen it up. What we've done, we brought in, we brought in an aged right back we bought in a, a flair player that re- really doesn't fit. We bought in Hernandez, who's unfortunate, is probably the only player out of the four that we bought. Oh, there's there's uh, Habsanovic as well, who we've not seen. You know, um, at heart, I don't think we really needed. So, so Hernandez is probably the only player that's come in that we could honestly say, yeah, you know, that that's a step ahead. But that's only one player. That's only one player out of all the players that we bought that we can say has probably freshened up the team somewhat we need more we need more than that so if we're if if uh if we're not going to buy any players in uh in uh, uh january and it, and it looks weird you know why would a, a manager that's only gonna supposedly be here to the end of the season be given money to buy yeah, players yeah I then don't... it's got to be youth it's got to be youth isn't yeah. it I, don't, you know? I, I can't see it. There's a lot of talk about getting a war chest. He's going to get a war chest. He's probably going to get some money, but they've only given him a six-month contract. It just doesn't add up. There's loads of things that just don't add up about this at all. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm completely lost for words. I'm losing a lot of interest, and I can't help but feel like that. I've never in my whole life of supporting West Ham, travelling to see them, ever felt like this. I have seen teams, yeah. like you said, look under Avram Grant, perform better week in week out than what we're seeing but it's stemming from where I always will say it stems from it stems from above it absolutely does you said it's you said about the stadium move but every team around us they progressed by signing better players in those positions when we moved mm. we signed as we all know 12 players just to bulk out the squad but then yeah. this year we bought the wrong players it's all about the acquisition it's all about the I mean guys think about this next year in the championship we ain't going to sell out season tickets. We ain't going to sell out the Olympic Park for loads of reasons. And one of the reasons is protests. 100% protests. People ain't going to go to a season ticket. It's not like... I said, earlier, I, I said earlier that there are pros, as much as I'm trying hard to find them, there are pros to going down. Um, and if you're going to try hard to find them, which I have tried very, very hard to find pros, is the fact that you're going to get cheaper tickets, um, there's going to be players in that team who are going to fight for the badge more than this guy because you're watching right now a bunch of players who are in their heads they're Premier League players right they can get told by their agents they're Premier League players and they're probably getting told now even if you go down I'm going to find you a Premier League club to go to you're going to earn 10 grand more than you are right now be a Premier League player you're playing for a Premier League club that's where you are. That's in their heads. That's what they're getting told. And like you said, they're not looking over their shoulders, thinking you've, you've, oh, he's, he's coming over me. He'll take over for me next week. And no, they're not thinking that. They're thinking, well, 
I'm going to get to a Premier League club, it's fine. So we're getting linked with players as soon as David Moyes comes in, i.e. Harry Utter and Lewis Dunk. And that's the first two players I saw us linked with. And fans are going, we don't want them, they're not, they're not up to our standards. I, 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 I sympathise with that, that eulogy, but they're players, they're grafters. And they they know how to um, get results out as the teams that have come up this year are proving. We haven't got that. We've got players who want to play the football. They want to play the pretty football. They don't want to put in the tackles like maybe Bournemouth do or Brighton do or whatever. They, they we've got players in this team with too much. There's too much football and there's there's too um, lesser graft if if that's the terminology to use. Um, yeah, there's, there are there are certain factors that are going to come with it. There's going to be less. I don't know. Maybe less. Plastic fans who are just following into the stadium route that they've been to bowling or Upton Park before, they'll 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 fizzle out. They won't want to go to see Championship standard football. I really, um, really, honestly believe that there's going to be a lot of fans who are regulars. It will. Season tickets. Yeah, yeah. A lot, and I mean a lot, because no, I, I, I think agree. I think what they're probably going to play on the fact is we've left our. I, I I'm going to keep saying it. I have to say it for this reason alone. If we if we if we go down, we've left our home for what reason? Because mm. by by, agree, going, yeah. by going down. We have gone back six years, Absolutely. maybe five or six years. So I mean, it'll we're be, gonna have to find it, five or six years of effort to be, get back to where we are. It just if if, if we go sense. down, if we go down, we're not coming straight back up. You know, we're not going to be that lucky again. And it could be it could be a couple of seasons before we even have a sniff. The next league coming back I can up. See it being the next if you don't bounce that, back in the season following relegation, you're stuck in the championship. You're stuck. I mean, yeah. if you don't if you don't bounce back straight away, just, you're in big trouble. Just quickly, yeah. what was it? What was it? I was watching a video the other day with uh, Baz Cox. I think he was on West Ham Fan TV or something along them lines. And he was saying that the board not only are they obviously highly responsible for a lot of this mess, but they're also very naive. So they didn't uh, contemplate the, the TV money coming in, and they didn't contemplate this and that. And it's it's that's probably quite true as well. Um, the fact that they've they've made promises and gone, oh shit, we can't do this now. And rather than holding their hands up and going, yeah, okay, we shouldn't have said that. We shouldn't have said this. We shouldn't have said that. They're going. I love it's all right. We'll 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 get over it and all that sort of stuff. And it, it was. I, said, I, I can't remember what he said, but what he said did speak to me. Oh, I, t- I tell not you what. Not, not backing them up. I tell you. Saying. I tell you what, guys. We're coming to the end of the review. It's really tough. But what I am going to do is something we do tend to do quite a lot, which is give everyone a last minute to just say anything you want. Get it off your chest. I'm going to time it um, because it's going to be really tough. We could be here all night, and we might just throw in another got a lot of shows coming up this week and we might throw in another show depending on what the results are going to be like um, but I am I'm, I usually put everyone else on first but I want to go first because I just want to pick up on a point that you said Luke there um, so I'm going to count myself down and I'll start one minute of ranting three two one I just I, I 100 million gazillion percent blame the board the board are at fault for every single decision that happens I'm not trying to say the players don't have a fault because they do they're professional footballers but it stems from the top it stems from the top we have moved stadium to be in a relegation battle we're probably going to go down the fans ain't going to buy the tickets the fans ain't going to turn up out of protest we see what's happening with all these other groups and all these other protest groups and I absolutely I back, I back some of the decisions that they're going to make so for me I mean I'm getting totally lost because I'm so frustrated at the whole situation and um, it's a money-making business they have put Every club they have owned, they don't think they have ever won a trophy. They have had something like five relegations under their belt, but they are making lots more money every single time they do it. And that is all they're out there for. They don't care about our club. They don't care about the social media. Look at tonight. They put a fucking stupid team sheet up and put Cairo on it. And they didn't even have that right. Yeah. They didn't even have that right. Yeah. It just shows you there's problems everywhere. Now, I know that's a tiny mistake, but they do mistakes all the time. And my time's up. So, look, are you up for it? You ready? Yeah, well, this is longer than I got last time. <laughs> About 20 seconds last time. <laughs> right. Three, <laughs> um, two, one, go. Uh, shocking once again. Uh, we've got to the point now where I've kind of not given up with them, but I'm expecting these kind of games. So rather than just sit there and depressed, I can actually pinpoint pros and cons about the game. Um, tonight was West Ham encapsulated to me. We gave them a bit of hope, and everything that could go wrong did go wrong. For example, Everton are shocking, and they put four past us, not conceded a goal, we missed a penalty, defending is shocking, hearts are overrated. Um, roll on Man City. That's all I can say. Place your bets, because I guarantee you we break the record of conceding the most goals in a game oh, in the Premier League. Don't, Luke, don't. Oh, don't. Wow. Just, fans, get something out of this for yourself. <laughs> Is that you, mate? You've got 20 seconds. Have I got 20 seconds? 15. Oh, <laughs> um, can can Stell and, and 
you know, I can yeah. share that between Stell yeah. and I'll Rich. Yeah, they yeah. can both have a little bit more, yeah? <laughs> Stell, are you ready? I'm a great, great not doing that now. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. Um, well, I agree with you. Uh, it's the board. Uh, Sullivan thinks he's a great wheeler dealer in the transfer market, and he's completely messed it up. You know, we go back to the bow lane, last season at the bow lane, that's when we should have picked up, move into the new stadium, more money in, and that's where we should have moved, pressed on, and we didn't. All we've done is go that way. And that's Sullivan's uh, uh, fantasy into thinking that he's some great uh, wheeler dealer in the transfer market. But now it's it's hit it, it's hit the team. It's hit the way we, we play. It's hit all the, all the momentum that we've had from the move. We're, we're drained. You know, we, we look lost. We look tired. We look bereft of ideas. Um, you know, and, and having a new manager in, I, I, thought, I thought Leicester was going to be the turning point. I was really, really surprised at the performance tonight. It, as I said earlier, it's as if Leicester didn't even happen. Um, will we go down? Five I actually go. genuinely think we won't go down, but it's going to be it's going to be close. That's you. Wow, excellent. And Rich, last but not least, three, two, one, go. Uh, look, we will not go down this season. I'm going to put that right out there now. Um, but we need to catch a wake up because. It hasn't been good enough. Uh, hopefully, Moyes, I, I do feel as though after these three d difficult games that we have, we will turn it around. I'm going to stay positive. But unfortunately, the last few games, we've really missed the chance to pick up some vital points. And if we find ourselves bottom by Christmas, then we're in a lot of shit. So, you know what? We need to stop conceding stupid goals. Because, like, again today against Everton, we're conceding such stupid goals, simple goals. Hearts not even having to make saves. And we're getting battered by sides in and around us, which is a massive, massive problem. Because in the past, we'd struggle against the top six, and we'd be able to pick up little nitty-gritty results against teams in the bottom half. But that hasn't been the case this season. So, yeah, it's, it's difficult being a West Ham fan. We're losing our identity slowly but surely. Can't stand the owners. Uh, I don't feel as though they give a donkey for the club. But anyway, let's just keep supporting the boys. That's you, that's you. Um, Still, I picked up on one word you mentioned there, drained. I feel absolutely drained as a West Ham fan and I've never felt like this before and I really want to shake it. I really need some injection of positivity. I need it. I don't know how I'm going to get it, but I need it. And let's hope coming up to Man City, we can get something from that. Um, anyone want to make any final points before we go sign off? Let's going to drink some bleach, Chris. Yeah, let's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, the, 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 the drain bit means that uh, Moyes need. Moyes said he'll give he'll give the experienced players an opportunity to prove themselves. Well, they've had that opportunity. Yeah. Now's the time to start changing things. Time to change now some stuff. Now start yeah. Absolutely, right, guys. Um, thanks for coming on. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We are four drained West Ham fans to join the rest of the world of West Ham fans that are also drained. Uh, join us tomorrow night when we have the preview of the Manchester City game. Are they really gonna want to. Oh, they really gonna want to. Yeah. Please fun. do. Because, yeah, we're going to make it as entertaining as possible. Yeah. It's going to need to be. Right. I'm Anton. That's Rich. That's Luke. That's Stale. We are Iron United. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>